Okay. I got the heater going. It's going strong. Uh, and it's cold today. It is very, very cold. Very cold. Now, today, if you look real close, you can see my breath today. So, yeah, it's cold today. Got the overalls on. So, what we're doing, get back over here. All right. We are actually going to transform this quote unquote turnkey engine. Turnkey engine, my fucking ass. Okay, we're going to transform this uh, beautiful, brand new, show quality engine into a pristine trailer queen, garage queen engine. So pay attention because we're going to turn this pumpkin. from that but now I use real nice gaskets I go ahead and pay that extra dollar for the better stuff and I'm gonna show you matter of fact I'll show you when we get to that step right now we're gonna go ahead and get to this step what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of, uh, all the old accessories off this engine and uh, start from there so here we go show you a little secret here, all right? Uh, for being a high-tech turnkey, quote-unquote turnkey engine, uh, what the fuck is this? What do we call that right there? That's what I call oil leak waiting to fucking happen. Here's a good example of a cork gasket, okay, that doesn't fit worth a fucking shit. All right, look where these guys had this gasket way over here. Okay, the first time we turned that engine on with all the other shit on it, like the alternator and the power steering and the air compressor and the carburetors, what do you think's gonna happen? Exactly, it's gonna fucking leak oil, all right? Don't be a dipshit. Don't fucking be a stupid ass. Put the crap on right, okay? You know, at least they could have at least put a little bit of glue in there to hold that, oh, I'm sorry. Looks like they did. A little bit. Okay, so there's your turnkey uh, engine so far. All right, let's go ahead and uh, set that to the side. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to show you the name there real quick. We did that. All right, let's get back to our motor. Again, 
You see what I'm trying to say? This is it. This is what you're getting. Always, always investigate the situation. It's very important. What parts do you use? What's the name brand? Blah, 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 blah. Okay? Sight unseen is the wrong scene. Okay? Don't do it. Check it out. Investigate it. Now, this manifold right here, okay, this aluminum manifold, this thing's probably worth maybe. There you go. Now, what we're going to do on this engine, I'm going to clean all this up. And here's another situation you have. I guarantee you the gasket kit that this guy used, this guy used, is probably made in Japan, okay? And he used silicone on the gasket. Can I say a little word of advice? Okay? And hey, stay right there. Well, I'll show you when we get to it, okay? Just always remember, the intake gasket that you see right here, you should not have to use, okay? You should not have to use silicone. It's already pre-siliconed or pre-whatever uh, sealed right in this area where it counts. Do not use any silicone on this. This is the only place that you will need silicone is on each end of the intake manifold. I see that they did use roller rocker, okay? This is a roller rocker setup, so that looks nice. If it's right, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Let's uh, hope so. For California Larry, AKA Wild Willie's Man guy out there uh, watching this, let's hope for him it is. So, I'm gonna go ahead, clean it up. Now what I'm gonna do before I put the motor back in, I will go ahead and put the intake manifold and the valve covers on. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna put the valve covers on. Okay? So I'll put the intake manifold back on, I'll drop the distributor back down where it goes, and I'll have to set that up. I thought I had that set on, but I don't. Okay? And I will also, when you buy an engine like this, uh, let me see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if we can. If you look at the crankshaft uh, dampener here, okay, this is usually a pressed on item, and uh, a bolt is actually an accessory for this. It's always wise to put the bolt on there, okay? Don't go without the bolt on here. Now, we won't be able to put that on until, we, of course, we put our pulleys on. But that's a very, very important item, and don't forget to do that. So, I'm gonna install most of the accessories with the engine in the car, uh, all our street farm stuff. I will put the intake manifold on, and probably the water pump, and a couple other items. Then we'll stick it back. So let me get all that done. And uh, still gotta clean all this freaking mess up that the guys put on there. Wow. All right, you see I got a lot of work ahead of me. Let, it get, let me get it done and uh, we'll be back later. Watch the motors in. I'm sure everybody out there in La La Land, Wonderland, yeah, the land knows how to put a fucking motor in. I'll get it in there and then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, Take it from there. See you later.